Welcome back guys to another musky hunt. We're on the water. It is an absolute gorgeous day out today. Of course we're at the dam. I actually have two special guests in the boat today. Frank and Kat, they are already casting in the front of the boat. We got them both rocking top waters and they are winners of the figure eight musky shop giveaway. Um, Enzo Binet, myself, did a giveaway uh, for his figure eight musky shop out of Quebec City. Uh, he runs an online store for everything musky, bump boards, tackle, everything you could want. And uh, he wanted to do a giveaway with me uh, to give two lucky winners a chance to fish with me on the boat for a day. So these are the guys. So we're hoping to get on some big mama musky today. Hoping to get a 50 in the boat. And the fishing's been really good lately. Yesterday was hot. Cool morning, but very hot day, flat calm. We ended up putting two in the boat, one in the morning, one in the afternoon. And uh, I'll give you guys a quick preview of those fish. He swam past the buoys and was going like up to the dam. And I was like, where the f is this guy going? I was like, okay, he's trying to commit suicide or something. Got one. Nice. Keep him in the water, in the water, in the water. Yeah. All right, guys. So, did not take long. The buckhorn baits got the job done. Saw a fish follow on a Medusa, and then uh, put the buckhorn back on, and got a fish. Nice little musky in the bag. Gave a crazy fight. Eight boat side. Nip just one little hook. Beauty little fish. First one of the day in the bag. Hopefully, just more to come. I still got a super numb thumb from uh, that 50 last week. No feeling yet, but uh, yeah, did not seem to affect catching this fish. So we're gonna get this one back. Hopefully it's one of many today. Let's get her back. Should release really well. Water temps have dropped a lot. Like I said, we just had this cold front. Water temps were like 73 last week and this morning they were down to 69. So these fish are gonna start eating quite a bit more. See you later, girls. Hey, man. First fish of the day. Let's see what we can do. Maybe get some more in the boat. I think it's going to be a very good day today. Let's go. Here's one. He's on it. Don't, don't move. Don't move too fast. Don't move too fast. Got him. Wait. He got him. Came off. Oh, we got him. Bro. Okay, guys, it's been a very hard day. There's been no updates or nothing to show because all we caught all day was a pike. We trolled, we casted. We actually had one blow up on a top water. Um, we're pretty sure it was a muskie. It seemed like a really good fish. We've come back up to the dam. It's like my fifth cast. Savage spinner. A new one that Darian tied me up. Black and purple. Purple has become a very hot color for me this year. Some green and copper blades and uh, just went around and around in the eight and finally just nipped at that back hook came unhooked right in the net Sean did a perfect net job and uh, lifted it just in time couldn't swim out we got a little beauty in the net let's take a look <laughs> yeah she's beautiful there we go probably about the same size as the one this morning a little skinnier yeah yeah a little bit skinnier not as chunky but beautiful on the figure definitely eight. welcomed on the figure eight man absolutely on the figure eight <clears throat> that is 108 for the year they are stacking up we're getting to the goal of 150 <laughs> that is for sure what a beauty little fish she's got a mean mug on her okay we're gonna get a picture or two and then uh, we're gonna get her back it was a quick fight both side figure eight baby oh yeah super nice fish I love when they eat both side like that it doesn't matter the size there she goes See you later, girl. We still got an hour to go. Let's see if we can get a big one in the boat. <laughs> Both really nice fish. First fish came on a buckhorn bait in the morning and uh, the second fish came on a savage spinner, black and purple. That'll be what I am starting with this morning. And let's see what we can make happen today. Let's go. All right, here we go. I am starting the day with a chaos tackle, assault stick, Tranks 401 HG, 
Of course, the only line I'll use, Barbarian Braid, and the black and purple Savage Spinner. Copper Blade, staggered, 910. See what we can make happen. At 40 miles an hour, you can't say no. I'm guessing she's not gonna be in the same spot. She could be anywhere on the spot, but you never know. If somebody hooks any fish, I'll be so fast on the net. Don't worry about that. Cause with a fish that big being on this spot, there's probably not many other fish on this spot. Figure eight every time because you can't see if it's there or not. At least do like two eights. Okay. If we caught one right now, it'd be a pretty epic picture with the sun like that. It's her. It's a big one. Yep. Oh, yeah. Giant. Get the net in the water, in the water, in the water. Let go of the basket, just let it hang. Okay. I'll put it in the net. Oh, it's not as big as I thought. A nice one, though. Yeah. yeah. Nice one. Oh, Jesus. Nice one. Oh, we worked all day for that. <laughs> nice job, man. Hey, really good net job. And she got exact and same spot. Exact same spot. Really? Yeah. With the same lure? Same lure. Same spot. Okay, guys. All day grind today. We worked all day, raised four fish today. Well, raised three fish, had a fish come off trolling. We actually raised this fish this morning. I thought it was a lot bigger. Came back, last light, major cloud cover, storm coming in. She hit the same lure that she followed this morning, red and black savage spinner with silver blades. She was sitting on the exact same spot. She is a beauty, fought really good, did like a four foot jump and uh, all day grind. Just gotta stay persistent in these hot days like this because if you just keep grinding, it will come together. Most days, it absolutely will come together. When you raise fish on not so good periods, you come back on them at the right times. That is the result in the net right now. Let's take a look at this beauty. Oh my God, she's angry. She did such a crazy jump when she... Oh, she's fat. Awesome fish. Really good one. Probably like 45-ish. Just a solid head. Right on a rock pile sitting right where she was and that is a perfect way to close the day really good fish we're gonna get a few pictures of her and we're gonna slip her back and, and she she's gone back flip flop ba ding ba dang into <laughs> the water and uh, I didn't want to hit her on the gunnel so instead of trying to get her back in the net she went overboard and uh, swam back like a champ what a good way to end the day we have about 10 minutes left. We're going to finish the spot off. But if we don't see another fish, thanks for checking out this week's video, guys. We had a blast today, and uh, it was hot. It was a grind, but results at the end of the day paid off. Don't forget, go down below, subscribe to the channel, and see you guys next week. She absolutely crushed it. When she hit it, the rod didn't move for like a second and a half. No head shake, nothing. I contemplated, like, am I in a rock? Nope, it was a fish. That's the power of Sunset and Major.